Hello everyone, and welcome to my guide on how to play Brazil with the Trial of Allegiance DLC. This guide is focused on multiplayer, mostly the historical and the competitive kind, so I'm gonna be following a certain amount of rules. I'm basically gonna follow three rules overall. I can only join the war after the United States does. I can only declare war on one South American country. And I also, I can only declare this war after Germany starts World War II. So, Brazil starts with some debuffs. This being legacy of the naval arms race, which will hinder your dockyard production. Separates movements and sentiments, which affect your stability and war support. The Monroe Doctrine is not really a debuff, but if any European country to tries to invade you, the US will intervene. Undiversified economy, which hinders our factory output. Weak government, which hinders our political power gain and stability. And state of emergency, which hinders our stability and gives us communism support. These are the main debuffs, but there's a lot also another one which really hinders our progress. It's a state modifier which will lower the amount of factories you can have on states, and their construction speed as well, and their resources as well. Basically, Brazil is a huge country with a ton of states, but most of them are neglected. As you can see on this overlay I'm gonna put on the map right here, all these states have the negative modifier. This really restricts us on where we can build stuff. And for that reason, what you should do is you have to focus on the states you can build on first and you have to rush your economic tree so you can get rid of those state modifiers here with this focus right here financial stimulation it's gonna allow a bunch of decisions all of them cost 30 political power but you can get rid of that debuff and even give it a buff depending on how much of this tree you've done so far as for goals that a Brazilian player should have, you should always talk to the US, see what he's gonna do, and there are three main builds you can do. You can go for an air build, because uh, you have a lot of rubber and you get even more from your focus tree. As you can see, you start with some rubber, but here, in Batalha da Borracha, you're gonna get 20 rubber on two states, so 40 total. And here on Fort Landia, we're gonna get plus 10. After building infrastructure on those states, you're gonna get even higher. And also, you have to take care of this debuff, and it's gonna improve that by 40% as well. So let's begin. The first things you should do as Brazil in a game are the following. Set your research to research speed and construction speed. Your first focus should be aftermath of the coffee crisis you should start building infrastructure in these states because these don't have the neg neglected state modifier you should produce trains you should set your MIOs, MIOs Amadeu Rossi and Compania Brasileira de Cartuchos with your dockyards you should be building convoys all your divisions, just bunch them up, you're not gonna use them this early, and I would advise against training them, at least for the beginning. So, as this is a multiplayer lobby, you don't, you're not expected to be attacked by anyone before Germany goes to war and stuff. You should plan your invasion for Venezuela so you can get all the naval invasions done here. And convert them to just regular infantry. As for the infantry, we're not gonna use them much. The only thing you're gonna change from the regular infantry is that you should add another artillery division here. Battalion, sorry. Uh, because you're gonna be fighting Venezuela, and you're gonna have some troops here in the north, and you're also gonna do a naval invasion in their capital. Which will take them over really fast. Another thing to do in the start, disband your air wings, we're not gonna use them and you can sell them on the market now 
and planes are really valuable for the AI for some reason, so they're willing to pay a high price on them. Same things goes for convoys also. You can pretty much set them all, or just take a few of them, also set to high price. You're gonna get a bunch of industrial capacity from it. And this is the basic setup. After this, we're gonna keep going with the game. Um, we're gonna get the events for the other Kangasas soon. Just in a moment. And here are our four sales. There's the first event. And our second focus should be Rádio Nacional. For the next research, you should go over to the Industry tab and get basic machine tools. This will allow us to go over dispersed or concentrated. In this guide, I'll follow dispersed. Uh, reasons being, it's the best thing for Brazil here because we're gonna be changing the equipment quite a lot. We don't have much research, and whenever we unlock something, we want to transition into that. After Rádio Nacional is done, you should do the old Congasso so we can get rid of these modifiers here, which lower infrastructure speed a little bit. We're about to get 25, still building infrastructure in São Paulo, and the first mission you're gonna do is in Pernambuco. Focus done, now we can do the mission, and our next focus should be on the political tree and it's gonna be Tribunal de Segurança Nacional. As for your political power, just keep saving it until we can go over partial mode because Brazil starts with 45% war support, which is really good. Force operation done, we started building infrastructure on it, doing fine, our tempo is good. For the next focus, let's ensure military support. And we can also go over here and go partial mode. Our next research should be research speed. And our next advisor is gonna be this guy right here, Alpha Jagashi, which has construction speed bonus and a research speed bonus. After ensuring military support, we're gonna go over and do desenvolvement, development. Always keep watching for your command power, because if you time this right, we're not gonna take any of these debuffs. As for the research, now we can go over either dispersed or concentrated. In my case, I'm gonna go dispersed. After we're gonna be finished with infrastructure building, we can now start doing civs, and all of those states will improve. And when we get to 50 political power, we can get our industrial advisor, which is this one. Compania na Departamento Nacional do Café. After desenvolvimento is done, we're gonna go over and stimulate the economy. We should fo be focusing more on civs now to get the most factory amount we can from this. Almost done with 25, and let's do another mission. As for the political power, we're gonna be saving for our captain of industry now, Gaston Fragoso. And after this focus, we're gonna go over here and do the Cohen plan. After finishing all these missions, we're gonna have 100 army experience we can use. And then also, we will be able to hire one of these guys. As for our next research, we're gonna go over here and take construction too. And for this, we're gonna take research speed. And now we're gonna do Stado Novo focus. And also, we're able to hire our captain of industry. After Estado Novo, we are able to do the Polaka focus. We're going this way in the political tree because we're gonna rush for the civilian factories here. And also, we can get another research slot here as well. 
and it looks like China is going to war really soon. They already formed the Chinese Unite the Front. And now we're gonna do the sports industry too. You can also set up an order for artillery as well. And right now we're gonna keep going this way so we can get two civilian factories. And I timed this wrong. So you're gonna notice when you have the game running at not such a high speed, you're gonna be able to time this perfectly, but let's see what we get now. <laughs> Mistakes can be made, and this is so you can remember what happens. Okay, in 10 days we're gonna get the effect. It's either gonna spread somewhere else, which is the best option. Or, we can get the stability debuff. Okay, we got the best option. I'm saying it's the best option because now we're gonna be able to get 10 more army experience out of this. As for our political advisor, we can go over here and take Olivera Viana, which grants us 3 more research speed. And done! Now we don't have to deal with the Northeastern rebels anymore. As for the political power you have now, well, the China war is going on right now, so the best thing now is to improve relations with them and wait until we can get enough command power to send an attaché over and get some more army experience. So you have to save at least a hundred political power here. After we're done with federal employment plan, we're gonna go down over Brazilian autarky, which is gonna boost our construction speed by 5%. As for the research, we're gonna begin researching weapons 1. Another thing of note is if you didn't fail any of the missions, you should be able to have 50 command power already, so send the attitude over to China. With Autarchy done, we're going to do Departamento de Propaganda. It's gonna help our stability and war support a little bit, and also our political power gain. But the main focus here is going after University of São Paulo, which is gonna grant us another research slot. Focus done, we can go now and do a University of São Paulo. As for the research, we're gonna research artillery. We can either go anti-tank and get improved cannons here on this line, or we can go the main focus and also grant our SPGs, which is what I'm gonna do now. As for the attaché, we're able to send it now as we have 57 command power. And let the army experience flow. As for our next advisor, we're gonna get Nilo Pena, Pena, which is gonna grant us more army experience gain. But we do have to wait a little bit for the command power. And there we go. Now we're gonna go back over to the industry line and research machine tools. We can also upgrade the M1 grenade. After the University of Sao Paulo, we're gonna go over back to our focus stream and we're gonna pick CSN, Companhia Siderúrgica Nacional. This is gonna give us some iron steel in Rio de Janeiro and it's also gonna give us a civilian factory. For the research slot you just got, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna research trucks. As for your officer core, you can start doing your according doctrines. If you're going for a marine build, I recommend superior firepower. If you're going for a tank build, then mobile warfare. And if you want to do anything else, it's your choice, honestly. But for the uh, army spirits, I would advise getting professional officer core because you're also gonna get a bonus to 
command power gain and two army experience gain. And before you do any doctrines, make sure to pick up Newton Cavalcante. In my case, because I'm doing a medium tank build, I'm gonna go Mobile Warfare Doctrine. In single player though, I would recommend going Superior Firepower because you'll benefit the most from the SPGs here. And the AI doesn't tend to build many tanks in, in single player, so you're not gonna need Mobile Warfare. In my case, this is a multiplayer build, yeah, I have to go after it. Research done, and now we're gonna research improved artillery. We ran out of building slots, so now we're gonna have to build in Sierra and Rio. Our next focus is gonna be Batalha da Borracha which is gonna grant us 40 rubber in total and it's gonna take us even closer to financial stimulation you can also start to train some divisions here in total you can only use 10 for a naval invasion as for the research we're gonna go ahead and research Disperse Industry 3 because we're gonna run out of building slots if we don't do so. And for the next focus, invest in road infrastructure. And now for the construction tree research. <clears throat> and with the tracks done, you can also add another line of production here and prioritize it. When we get the industry, when we get the factory, it's gonna start building tracks for us. Going for the National Technology Fund focus. And keep saving political power because you're gonna need it for later. If we improve the artillery done, now we can start focusing on the main build you're gonna do. If you're going for planes, you can go ahead and start researching planes. If you're going for marines, then you should do a quarterly and start researching marines. If you're going for tanks like I am, you can start and get the first medium tank research. This is the point where the research branches off. And okay, as we now have two lines of civilian factories, we're gonna start building one infrastructure here in the Amazon. This is gonna raise the supply of the region. And after these two civilian factories are done, we're gonna start building mills. As of now, we're just squeezing the most we can of the captain of industry we have. We're about to replace him for the military industrialist. Focus done, we're gonna go over to Banco do Brasil new research lot, we're gonna keep focusing on getting our tank build going. With the save done, now we can change our capital of industry for the mid-war industrialist. And now you should only focus on building military factories. For the mass focus, federal development. And now to finish our financial stimulation, which is gonna take the debuff away from us. And it's good that you have a good bank of political power left, because we're gonna use a ton of it now. We have three factories now, so we're gonna be able to produce more equipment. In my case, I'm gonna raise some of the guns, and also the artillery. Also adding the artillery battalion here to this division. <clears throat> For our next focus, we're gonna go over back here and reward army loyalty. This is gonna further improve our military factory construction speed. And as I told you before, we have a lot of political power we can use now to get rid of the neglected state modifier. 
the south of the coast and then with the inside of the country. As we reached 1939, you should start to get ready to declare on Venezuela. So, set your divisions up to defend the border and set another batch of divisions to do a navy invasion of Caracas. Always remember to set the motorization level up. You can either go about it by doing this here on the supply menu, or you can also go here and prioritize on the army group itself. With reward army loyalty finished, now we can go ahead and do these two focuses father of the poor and consolidate labor laws. After that, you can go and start doing your military focuses and this is where the focus tree will branch off if you want a little bit of more factory system finish these two if you want to start your military then you can go ahead and do Lizardo Brasileiro or Força Aérea Brasileira depending on what you're doing for me I want more factories so I'm gonna do Father of the Four you can start training your troops so they don't get a rookie modifier. As Germany is uh, almost declaring war on Poland now, we're gonna set up our fleet so they can help the naval invasion. With the war declared, now we can go ahead and justify on Venezuela if the war tension is above 50%. Which it's almost at. You just have to wait a little bit until more people join the war. Now that the war has gone to shit, <laughs> we can start and justify. Just as a detail, you can go the strength of the common soldier on the tank build as well. It's gonna increase your organization and your defense. This one will just give you an um, MIO, which is not gonna be that useful. Now with the de declaration finished, we can go ahead and start the war and start both the naval invasion and the attack here on the jungle.
the war done, now we can puppet them and add resource rights and also war apps on their states. This way we're gonna be able to get the most out of them. Um, if you want to, you could have added a collaboration government on them. It's not really worth it. For now, we're gonna have resources for the entirety of the war. And confirm an exit. As of now, what you should focus on is helping the US out, joining the war, and winning with your allies. Alright, so now with the war done, we got access to Venezuelan oil and also to some other civilian factories. What you should focus now is helping the allies to win the war, that being helping the naval invasions in North Africa, you could execute an Operation Torch here in Morocco, you could also go to the Pacific and help the fight against the Japanese, you can also prepare yourself to attack Germany on D-Day in the Lowlands or in France. Or you can go the historical route and help the Allies win in Italy. As for your factories and production, now is the time you devote everything into your build, so you're gonna have everything going into tanks pretty much. You'll lower everything else to very few, just so you can maintain the reinforcements going. Um, if you get new dockyards, make sure to make more convoys because you're gonna need them for the naval invasions. And also, if you go here in the naval support tree, you're gonna see you have access to landing craft. This research is really important for you because it will also unlock floating harbors. They can be used to allow supply in naval invasions even if they do not have a harbor. So if you're invading France here, you can invade these tiles here near Cherbourg with the floating harbors. And that will allow you to be supplied there and have your divisions perform in their best. Another thing to watch out in a tank build is that you should always be on update with the radar tree because that will unlock radios, at least get to the 1940 radio. It's gonna add a lot to defense and a lot to breakthrough, which are essential for tanks. Whenever you finish the foreign advisor focus, you're gonna get these decisions right here. I'll advise you to finish this focus before going to war and getting all of the uh, decisions you can get because you can get the Japanese military advisors, which are gonna grant you organization and attacking speed. You can get the German ones, that's gonna help with your tanks. And that's pretty much it, because they cancel out with the rest, as you can see here. Um, you can also get the Italians on a later date, if they are not opposed to online, but uh, that usually doesn't happen. These two will help you a ton with your divisions. As for your 1940s tank, make sure to always use a 3-man turret because it adds the most breakthrough. You can go ahead and add a medium cannon, the best radio you can get, and also a stabilizer. Um, if you need extra piercing, you can also always add the squeeze bore adapter. You can get wet ammunition storage for more reliability as well. Extra ammunition storage is gonna give you more defense and breakthrough. And easy maintenance is one of the best upgrades you can get because it's gonna lower your production cost by 5 while also adding reliability. The main thing you have to watch out for tanks is to always get the reliability to more or less 85% because the support companies, the maintenance ones, they're gonna give it a bonus on top of that so you can get your reliability to 100. If you're always above 85, you're not gonna lose much to attrition. Uh, I'm building my tanks for speed, so let's raise this to 10. 
well, we cannot do it right now, but yeah. And, uh, yeah, this looks fine. This is a decent design, you can improve on top of it though. As for your howitzer, you can go ahead and just change the cannon to a howitzer and save it. Make sure to always edit the design itself so you don't have to waste 30 uh, army experience from the easy maintenance module all the time. Alright, so just to keep track of what we achieved so far, right now it's July 18th, 1940. We are sitting at 83 factories those being 37 militaries and 55 civilians. We have a good amount of factories still going here. Our trade is also looking good. We're not exporting anything yet, but in multiplayer we're always gonna be getting some extra factories from your allies. Um, we have 1940s tanks and we're researching 1943 tanks. We're producing a lot of them. Right now we have 21 factories on tanks and 7 factories on SPGs and those are only gonna go up. As for the divisions themselves, we have two divisions ready. Uh, ready for deployment, uh, you could say, you just have to train them a little bit more. And you have two divisions on the field already. So pretty much you have... So in sum, you have a total of 4 medium tank divisions, 30 with those being 30 with medium tank divisions, ready for the war. As soon as the USA joins, you're gonna be able to join. You just have to go here, secure our borders, get neighbor policy and do these focuses right down here. You can get some bonuses from the US, with Santa Pua you're gonna get some fighters, and with Cobras Fumanges you're gonna get some more equipment. You can also get a research agreement with them, so it's your research is gonna go faster. And that's pretty much it. You will be a valuable asset for the allies. As you can see here, we have 46 rubber right now, but we haven't built any infrastructure on the states that produce them. If we do so, we're gonna raise the rubber amount by a ton. In Amazonas, Pará and Maranhão. This means that if the Allies end up losing the war in the Pacific, they're gonna end, they might lose Singapore and the Dutch East Indies. And they're gonna start suffering a ton from the lack of rubber. You're gonna be able to at least remedy that a bit. It's not the best thing ever, but still, every rubber is welcome. As Germany can say, one of the things they suffer the most with producing planes is just the lack of rubber. They have everything else to do it. And the lack of oil as well, but uh, they can build refineries and enough reserves for that. And this is gonna be it for the guide. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this guide will actually help you in your matches. And see you guys soon.